praise the Lord. It's Pastor Allison Joan Hall, Pastor the Airways, your spiritual entertainer. Well, I just did half of my run that I had planned today. I planned on running to the thrift shop to get um, a shade for my window for the, to cover my granddaughter's window for, for the, the car seat so the car seat doesn't get hot, right? So check it out. So I, fit, I claimed that I was going to find it. Hey, sister! I claimed that I was going to thank you. So I knew you would like my heels. I just saw your comment. <laughs> so I know you'd like them. So, um, so I... I jogged down as planned and I stopped at the grocery store, got some coconut water to hydrate myself. And then I was in a thrift shop looking for the thing and I couldn't find it, right? And I know it was so much stuff in there because it's early and there's so much stuff. So I might have overlooked it. But what I did step on, I stepped on these. You see that? You see that chain? You see that chain? Wasn't it wasn't it wasn't an accident that I stepped on that chain. God told me pick it up. And I thought he wanted me to use it for a dance. And he still might want me to use it for a dance. And I walked around the store still looking for the thing. Like, do he really want me to buy these chains, right? They're they they're Halloween costume chains. They're not they're not heavy. They're made out of plastic. And and I was thinking about a dance, but but he made me, I was thinking about it, you know, while I'm walking back because I stayed in the thrift shop too long and it was cold and air conditioning in there. So now my 55 year old muscles are tight. I can't run right now. <laughs> it ain't gonna work. That's why I'm walking back. But anyway, the chains, it's like bipolar. One, I still have all of the symptoms of bipolar one okay that's a heavy chain that's a chain that i wear that's a chain that i wear it looks heavy but it's not with god because he's told me how to combat all of the symptoms of bipolar one it still looks like a chain i'm still diagnosed with bipolar i have all of the symptoms but it's light it's not heavy doesn't have me bound it doesn't weigh me down anymore I can achieve so much with God's help as long as I let the Holy Spirit guide me and teach me I combat all of the symptoms of bipolar one glory to God so I wear the, I wear the label and the label is heavy I wear the label but it's not heavy I can still move I can still do what I want to do I can still live my life and live it abundantly Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. God, I thank you for my sister, Amina. I thank you for letting her give me her time right now. Thank you for touching her from the top of her head to the sole of her feet, Father, and removing anything, any burden that's, that's bothering her, God. I ask that you remove it right now. Set her free in the name of Jesus. Thank you, my sister. Thank you so much. And that means a lot coming from you. My sister, Amina, is smart, y'all. <laughs> I love my sister, Amina. I'm sorry. God, thank you for not only blessing her, but blessing her beautiful children and her grandson and her mom, my stepmother and every, I mean, my mother-in-law and everybody attached to her father. Everybody that she loves, God, I ask that you bless them. And I ask you to let her children respect her. God, let their respect and admiration for her grow every day. In the name of Jesus, open their eyes to let them see their mother, God. Let them see what she goes through. Let them see the responsibility that she has on her and the position that she's walking in, God. I ask that you let them not not disrespect her in any way and let them know because they are children father of they are children of god and they are your children and remind them remind them honor your mother and father that your days be long upon the earth and that it may go well with you you want things to go well with you honor your mother i honored my mother with my writing my book cracks in the potter's clay how I overcame bipolar one with faith. I dedicated to her. I dedicated it to her. So even in death, if you honor your parents, God, it will go well with you. And my life is amazing right now. My life is amazing.
So I thank you for blessing my sister, God. I thank you for strengthening her walk, Father. I thank you for letting no weapon form against her prosper, God. Thank you for being with her wherever she goes. Let her feel your presence, Father. Continue to lead her, guide her through the Holy Spirit, Father. In the name of Jesus, let her have a wonderful rest of her day today, Father. Blow her mind for me today, Father. Blow her mind with something special, Father. And she'll recognize you and give you the praise and glory that's due your name. In Jesus' name, I pray. Thank you. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Mina. I love you, my sister. <laughs> Have a beautiful, God bless day. God bless you all. Pastor Allison Joan Hall, Pastor the Airways Spiritual Entertainer, signing off. <laughs>